right, so I'll talk you through the kayak from the front to the back. Uh, just at the front, I've got my hatch, and I can uh, I can access that just by uh, shuffling forward on the kayak, like so. So I've got a uh, Trident 13, or uh, sorry, I've got a Ocean Kayak Prowler 13, the current kayak I'm sat on, um, and it's 13 foot long, so it's quite easy to um, it's quite easy to shuffle forward, and it's really stable. You can't stand on it, but if you put your legs over the side like this, it's very stable. You can literally shuffle right to the front and then you can open up the front hatch and get in there at the moment i've got my uh, kayak trolley in there and i've also got that lovely bream i caught earlier today which, which is going to be my dinner i've also got a bag in there with uh, a waterproof jacket but you can you can store all sorts in there like if you want to keep your bait cool or, or your fish you catch and whatever so yeah so it's quite it's quite easy to do that but that's that's where i have my kayak trolley I just shimmy back so this is a new new addition to my kayak I don't always have this but I literally just bought it so it is a trout net with a sort of rubber mesh over the over the sort of string so the hooks don't stick to it like my previous one did and it's uh, just got a bungee cord that's attached from carabiner to the kayak itself and I can actually catch finish both sides with it like so it's not a problem and then I normally just rest it on there I bought that with me today because I knew I was catching bream and I've lost a few uh, nice gilt head bream just because I didn't have a net and they uh, jumped and took themselves off the hook on the surface so yeah that's why I bought that with me today the next thing which is also secured to the kayak with a carabiner I've just got a mesh net I normally put all my bait in, or if I'm going to catch live mackerel, I normally put it in there, leave it in the water, and it keeps them alive for a bit longer. Or you can use it as a chum bag. But I think I bought some trainers or something, and that's what that bag came with. Uh, that bag came with them, so yeah, that's what I'm using it for. You can also use an onion sack or something like that. And moving down again, so I've got my rail blazer camera mount. Um, there's actually multiple different camera mount pieces I've put on here, but I think it's, I'll, uh, I'll put them all in the description, but this is basically what my camera sits on, uh, sits in there, and all these individual pieces, twist, 360, um, you've got the bit here that twists down, twists up, uh, this one just twists that way, and then you've got this lock, lock nut here you can undo and you can move that back and forward as well, and that's just mounted on a star. Uh, yeah, Railblazer star port. That is my camera set up for the front. And the reason why I like it is I've, I've added all these little bits in because it's nice to be able to just manipulate where the camera's pointing or, or looking just with one hand. And it works well. I don't know the individual name of all these parts, but I'll definitely put it in the, uh, in the description for you. Yeah, that is my camera setup. Moving down then, I normally have a pair of scissors over here. I use them just to obviously cut up things like squid and, and, and any bait I'm using. And then moving down, so in my cup holder, I normally put a few different sinkers in there, different sizes. If I change any hooks on my rigs, I normally use it to put them in there. And then in my, what is meant to be like a waterproof compartment in between my legs, which is not waterproof because it definitely fills up with water every time I come out here. I just have a selection of different leads, some cotton and anything else I really want to put in there. Definitely wouldn't put my phone in there because it's not waterproof. And that just closes like that. And down the side I've got my anchor trolley, I'll show you that in more detail when I'm on the land. And then my, my paddle, which is secured with a paddle leash here. It's just a bit of elastic that pulls over it. And then moving behind me, I've got a star port. So a railblazer star port, I think it's called, on each side of me. So one there, one there. And then the rod holder itself, I believe is the railblazer, I think it's rocket tube it's called, or rocket. I've just got one of them on each side and I can undo it and move it and face different directions but I like to have it like this so it's pretty much like two armrests like that and like that just for easy of ease of access as well so as soon as we get by it just comes straight out 
same on this side. As soon as I go by, straight out. Yeah. And they normally sit left and right of me, so within my vision, so I can see the bites. Because if the rod holds behind me, it's uh, it's quite hard to uh, see when you're actually getting any action on the end of the line. But yeah, so for pretty much my waist forward, that is my setup that I normally have. And then if I turn around, there's another beauty about these kayaks, is they're so stable you can literally just sit side on like this. And then behind me, and this is where I normally keep my bait. So I've got rag there at the moment, squid, or if I've got mackerel or whatever. I normally use that to put bait. And then when I'm not anchored up, so my anchor's over there. Obviously anchored up in the water, but my anchor normally sits here on top of that. And then I just have any drinks that I've got. So I've got water, obviously soft drinks and some tea. And then moving back, I've got something called a Vittles Vault. It's basically a pet food container which I've bastardized and put some rod holders on. There's a handle at the back, which I've screwed on to hold it. And then I'll go through this in more detail on the shore, but it changes every time I go out. Depends what, what I'm fishing for, but generally my drone sits in there at the back in a waterproof bag. Um, this is watertight once I've sealed this lid, but I normally keep spare rigs and hooks and term terminal tackle in there as well. Lunch, sun cream, uh, tools, so I've got pliers in there, sun cream, what else? any sort of bits you need to hand. Um, all my batteries and camera equipment and waterproof in a dry sack in there, and that just screws shut like that. And once it's screwed shut, it's um, it's watertight. Yeah, that's called a Vittles Vault. It's made in America. I believe at the time of making this video, they've started selling them again in the UK. But they are quite expensive for what they are. Effectively just a plastic tub with a screw on lid. But there are other things you can get out there that are similar. I just like the shape of this one because with the handle on and everything, it's ideal, especially with the rod holders. You could even use it for going down to the beach. And then I've just got the basic ocean kayak seat, just the seat that comes with this kayak. It's not the best. Um, probably one of the most uncomfortable seats, really, but I've had kayaks like the Ocean Kayak Trident 13, the new, the new one. The seat on that is a lot better than this, but you know, at the end of the day, the reason why I fish in this kayak is because it's, it's narrow, it's long, it's light, and I can paddle a lot faster in this and still manage to carry all my gear with me. But that is a pretty much a rundown on my kayak. Um, in terms of rods, I always use ugly sticks. I've got an ugly stick GX2. Um, I think this one is a tw uh, 20 to 30 pound one. Yeah, it's a 20 to 30 pound, 20 to 30 pound class. And then I've got a Cla uh, Okuma Classic XT, just a cheap sort of star reel. Um, I'd li I like to go for, for cheap reels because salt water always gets in, it always destroys them and with these ones they, they're only like 40, 50 pounds and you can just keep changing them. I'm looking to uh, purchase some lever drag reels though because you know, I want to try and catch some bigger tope and things like that. I've had these rods for seven, eight years now. I've caught endless smooth downs and rays and all sorts in these rods and they're still going. As long as you wash them after every, every time you use it, but they are golden. The reels, however, a bit, they, they do break. And I, I think this actual make here I've got is, um, I think it's discontinued because there's not many you can buy nowadays. Yeah, and then my other rod, I've just got a, I think it's called a Sukuma. It's called a Sakura. So I bought this for pike and perch fishing, but I use it on the kayak a lot now. It's called a Sakura Akin Evo. And it's uh, it's quite a nice little light setup. I use this for bream fishing, mackerel, uh, any sort of smaller stuff. I always carry at least always carry at least one small rod with me, so I can fish for things like mackerel, uh, bream, and so on. And then I always bring at least one big one, so I can fish for multiple species at the same time. Uh, I, tr I used to take like four rods out, and it's just too much. You just all you need is two, maybe maybe three as a spare. I've got a spare one behind me now. But that pretty much is my setup. Um, in terms of clothing, 
depends what time of year I'm out, but um, I don't tend to fish a lot in winter anymore, but dry suit definitely in winter and wetsuit boots, and then you'll probably need some warm clothing underneath. Um, in summer like this, it's 24 degrees today, it's really hot, but I'm still wearing long, I'm still just wearing hiking trousers. I normally wear a wetsuit, but today I've decided to wear just hiking trousers. Um, I've just got some really old trainers that I found on a beach. And then when my trainers I've got at the moment run out, I'll just probably switch these out and put them on. But I always try and just wear my old trainers on the kayak. Um, and then t-shirt, I've got a windproof jacket on at the moment. Just protecting myself from the sun because I'm out here for probably 12, hour, 12 hours today. And um, even though I put cream on and stuff like that, the reflection of the sun off the water is it eventually burns you anyway. It's really hard to find unless you put an eye factor 50 on and you, and you literally go white. But I'd like to get a little bit of a tan. So I normally start off with this. When it gets too hot, I'll take it off. And then if I start feel like I'm burning, I can put it back on again. And it keeps me cool because it's thin. Um, but yeah, wetsuit is another good one. If you're going to go out and it's it's like probably 15, 15 maybe 20 degrees, uh, probably wear a wetsuit. If you're going to go out into the deep ocean, definitely wear a wetsuit. And well, if you can wear a dry suit, but if it's too hot, I can understand you'll probably sweat a lot. But that is pretty much my kayak from me sat on and talking to you. Yeah, that's my setup. Ocean Kayak Prowler 13. Got a net, chum bag, camera bag, um, rail blazer rod holders, a couple rods, my Vittles Volt with my lunch, camera equipment, drone, things like that in. My paddle, clothing, and that's it really. VHF, radio, that is literally my setup. Um, I'll try and find, put as many of these things in the uh, in the description, in the uh, description of this video, but if I can't find them online, I'll, uh, I'll just put the name. But yeah, that is my setup. I'm gonna put some more bait on now and try and catch some more fish. There's a scorcher, and I'm probably gonna take this jacket off in a minute because it's getting hot. So you can see it's really stable. I'm not exactly a small guy. I'm what 100 kilos, six foot one, and um, I can quite easily sit on this side on, move around, reach in the back, reach forward. It's a pretty good kayak. It's just unfortunate they don't sell them anymore. So if you want one of these, you're gonna have to get a second hand. Although you'll probably you'll probably notice everyone nowadays uses pedal kayaks, like Hobie and so on, because makes more sense, keeps your uh, keeps your hands free so you can fish, whereas a kite like this you're gonna have to paddle. Make sure you bring sun cream, honestly. I've had days where I've burned to a crisp. Thank you. 